What's happening my friends, Joker XP here with some Destiny gameplay from the King's Fall Raid on Normal. And today I'm going to show you some fast tips on how to easily defeat the Daughters of Oryx, known as the Death Singers, Ir Anuk and Ir Halak. When you first enter the room, you're going to notice that both Death Singers are sitting on top of these two platforms in the middle of the map, and then there are four other platforms spread out symmetrically. The next thing you'll notice is that there is an objective marker at the top of your screen somewhere. It will always be random, and this objective indicates that you have to obtain this spark. That spark is used to take down one of the Death Singer's shields that then allows your team to do DPS on the boss. One player in your fire team will randomly be selected to be torn between dimensions. So the player who has this effect will be the runner, whose responsibility will be to go and attain the spark to then take down the Death Singer shield. Now, if you get this effect of Torn Between Dimensions and you're not comfortable being the runner, you can just simply wipe off the side of the map, at least for the beginning, for the first wave. In terms of the players who are standing on plates, the order in which you stand on them matters. You'll always follow a rotation that's counterclockwise relative to the spot where that spark spawns at. So for example, if the spark spawns on top of the back left plate or plate number four as we'll call it, then you'll need to start the rotation at the front left plate or plate number one. Then the other player in your team who's not standing on plates and who's not the runner will need to be on ad duty, just taking out ads and standing in a spot that's strategic, preferably somewhere that's around the center of the map, but somewhere where they're taking a lot of cover and able to move very easily. Now here's the sequence. To start, you simply just step on the first plate in order. And again, that's in a counterclockwise rotation. So whichever plate is plate one in this sequence, that player steps on their plate, and then the second, third, and fourth players step on their plates consecutively, one after another. The jobs of the players watching plates is really just to watch out for ads and then to watch out for these taken vandal snipers that are going to spawn behind you on the outside of the map, on these upper platforms. Kill them as fast as possible as they will absolutely two-shot you. So as a quick recap, the players who are standing on plates are responsible for first standing on their plates in order that goes counterclockwise to the spot of the spark and then watching out for taken vandal snipers. Now for the runner, as you're ascending these plates, your job is simply to not skip a plate, but to go in order until you reach that spark. And once you get there, your job is to slam the shield specifically of Ear a nuke. That would be the Death Singer that is on the left side pillar when you first spawn in the room. You do so by entering that shield, whether you jump in from that platform or if you miss the jump, just jumping inside of it from wherever on the map, pressing and holding X or square until you've seen that you've taken her shield away. And this is very important because if you damage instead Ear Halak, which would be the Death Singer on the right side of the room when you first spawn, it's a whole lot harder to actually survive this whole sequence as that Death Singer has some crazy magic powers and can absolutely wipe out your whole team really fast. Once the shield's down, it's time to damage the boss. Now there's a couple of ways you can go about doing this, but this is a way that we found to be very efficient for us. Now the spot that I recommend you go to with your fire team would be on the far outer side of that back left plate. This allows all of you to stand on this ledge on the outer side. The player who was the runner in this sequence will have a perk. You'll see this little white aura around them. If you stand inside of it, it's called the Aura of Unraveling, which allows you to damage the Death Singer without actually taking damage from her. Now, at this point, you have two choices. First, you can choose to bring her down to near death but not kill her, and I've heard that with fire teams that have lower leveled players, especially with lower light level gear, that's probably more preferable. But I recommend that if you have the DPS and you have the damage, go ahead and kill her right here. This will definitely make the whole sequence and the whole checkpoint a lot shorter. Now if you choose to not kill this Death Singer, it's extremely important that all players stay inside of this aura of unraveling. You're gonna see your whole screen eventually go to a white type of effect. The Death Singer is basically calling upon this attack. If you're standing outside of this aura of unraveling, you will get wiped instantly. So this sequence will then end whether you kill this Death Singer or whether you let her stay alive in which there will be an attack you have to deflect. You will then have to go back to your positions and start the sequence over again. However, keep in mind, when you do finish this first wave, there's gonna be a whole new set of taken enemies that are gonna have spawned. So I recommend that when you leave this left area, this far left side of the left plate, actually go around the back of the plate. As taken enemies tend to not spawn behind you, that gives you a chance to take cover and take out these ads and then get back into position. At this point, you're going to have a new player in your team that'll be marked as the designated runner who will be torn between dimensions. So at this point, the most important thing is just to swap roles. 
whatever player gets the Torn Between Dimensions effect will need to have another player replace what their role was in the first wave. For example, if the new player who's Torn Between Dimensions was watching a plate, then have another player go and watch that plate. Now at this point, once everyone's in position, it's basically rinse and repeat. You're going to repeat the same cycle again in a counterclockwise order. Once again, keeping an eye out for enemies, especially those taken vandal snipers, taking them out as fast as possible. For the runner, the main priority is to grab the spark and then disable the shield of the other death singer, opposite from the one that you just attacked. So in this case, ear halak. And once you have broken the shield, have your whole fire team head this time to the right side of the map. With the same concept happening here, you're all going to be standing on the outer side of this right plate and then maximize damage against this death singer now if you chose not to kill the first death singer ear a nuke i do recommend that you maximize as much dps as possible and go ahead and kill this one on your first take that way you'll only have to repeat this cycle one more time if you're following the approach of killing both death singers on your first attempt then right here you should be able to end this whole checkpoint by taking her out very quickly once you kill her, you'll wait one moment for a chest to spawn in the mid side of the map, and then you go grab your loot. And that's basically it. Now the most important takeaway from this whole checkpoint is memorizing that counterclockwise rotation and getting used to it, getting used to assigning players to different plates, as that's something you'll definitely be taking with you in the next checkpoint against Oryx. So my advice is get it down now. Get used to this idea of counterclockwise style rotations with plates. It'll make the next boss battle so much smoother. So there it is, my friends. That is how you take out the Daughters of Oryx in the King's Fall Raid on Normal. Let me know your feedback in the comments down below as this is still a work in progress. This strategy worked for my different fire teams, but maybe you guys out there found a different way or different methods of taking out this checkpoint. Like the video if you liked it, and thank you for hanging out and watching. I'll see you next time.